what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will continue our series in the playlist of inspirations okay you guys have been telling me that i am not uploading videos in the playlists but just wait and watch i have started okay so what should i share today before beginning as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him yes so today i will share a beautiful story which happened in my life in 2015 when i was in india in the month of february okay i was coming to germany in 4th of april for doing my masters and the last two months february and march i decided take a trip in the holy land of india from rameshwaram in the south to west bengal okay in the east in the holy land of mayapur and then when i started my voyage from south india i first went to rameshwaram which is one of the four primary places of worship of the vedic tradition okay and there in rameshwaram there is a place which is a bit far from rameshwaram it is known as dhanushkoti okay dhanushkoti is the place where ramayan started <laughs> they built the bridge of stones to reach lanka okay we will start a new series on ramayan some other time okay <laughs> ramayan is the best book to be discussed so i had gone to that place dhanushkodi it is known if you are from the west you can google it okay dhanushkodi so it's a beautiful place okay it's a very long place it's a beautiful place it's very scenic there okay it is considered to be the end of the indian subcontinent okay yeah. of course kanyakumari is also there including dhanushkodi okay so that is the place where lord ram started his journey towards the destruction of evil kings okay and when i was in rameshwaram then i started towards dhanushkoti and then i was there with one of my friends from gujarat okay where i started going and visiting many different holy places which are there inside rameshwaram and dhanushkoti and then finally i completed my trip to rameshwaram and then i landed in this beautiful dhanushkodi okay and there is a conjunction of three different waters there okay and it is said whoever sees those three different ranges of water never takes birth ever 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 again never in this material world he goes back to god in this very lifetime okay <laughs> so if you have not visited dhanushkoti if you go to india next time then please make a point to visit it okay so then i went there to dhanushkoti and it was a beautiful place and there i met there i met who <laughs> well he didn't seem to be an extraordinary person he seemed to be like just another person okay but then this person was sitting at the fag end of the beach okay and when he was sitting he was not talking he was not smiling he was not looking here there he was sitting in this posture which we call okay catching the hands like this he was sitting there and then immediately i realized this person is a yogi <laughs> and then i ran there to take his blessings and then when i reached him do you know what he said he knows to speak english also he is he is kind of a normal person he is a south indian person who we know as tamilian okay a person who speaks the language tamil now this person understood that i have come to meet him okay i was just standing beside him and he understood that i have come and he turned his head and then he did not speak anything 
do you know what he said he didn't speak anything he just took his index finger and he pointed up like this he pointed like this <laughs> he pointed it like this point pin sharp i was clueless maybe i was thinking it was hot that time it was the time of afternoon and south india is very hot even though it is march okay so i was thinking maybe he's trying to show that the sun is blazing na sun is in the 10th house that time by the way <laughs> so i was thinking maybe he was trying to say that that the sun is very hot yes or i don't know i could understand <laughs> and then he spoke he said ekam sat dvitiyo nasti there is only one truth and nothing else so i understood he was telling me that whatever you do in this world your ultimate aim should be to go and meet as krishna says in the bhagavad gita that suhrid the sarva bhutana i am the best well wishing friend of all the living entities not of the hindus not of the muslims not of the christians anybody okay even jesus says so that follow my way i am the only way okay even mohammed said that follow the laws of god that will lead you to the higher worlds where you will find allah the supreme allah means the greatest right that is the meaning of the word allah so these holy people have inspired me very much okay and then i just touched his feet and i left south india and i was ready on my voyage to kolkata and then even now this keeps hitting in my ears ekam sat dvitiyo nasti there is only one truth and everything else is false dvitiyo is to nasti there is not a second so basically what he meant to say is whatever you do in life god has to be the ultimate goal okay so i was touched by this small incident and i just wanted to share with you guys and if you liked it then share this video with your friends and family and before ending god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so until the next time that i say some new story okay if you have something please share okay and if you have not subscribed to my channel then i don't know why you are still waiting please do it okay until next time bye bye see you